question, which has involved more disclosure. <coughs> if you're an iPad fan, uh, this talk is about the HP 65 Pro emulator for the Apple iPad. Uh, okay, and we are the emulator. It's my friend, and we will keep on emulating <laughs> till the end. We are the emulators. We are the emulators. No time for firmware, but we are the emulators of the world. <laughs> you will be assimilated. Apology to uh, uh, Freddie Mercury. Uh, I dedicate this talk to the emulators. Of course, at the top of my list is Serial, Tim and their team. I know they do it for a living, but they write excellent emulators, and I love their work. Uh, we have Willy Kunz, who is the main topic of today. And we have Olivier Dersmith. He's uh, into Android emulators. Warren Furlow, the 41CX. Jean-Francois Garnier and Christopher Giesling, the 7141. And then Pierre Hubert, he has a fantastic 57C emulator. He, I encourage mm -hmm. him to do an RPM version of it. So uh, he's cool. He also visits the HP Museum uh, Mike O'Shea, who attended a few years ago and did the 6797 emulators, and many other uh, people who do HP 15C, 11, whatever uh, emulators. We want to honor. Eric Smith. Eric Smith, yeah. And Eric Smith, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> For naval <Nathan, Sorry>. <coughs> the Godfather. <laughs> yes, you're right. Everybody yeah. built on his uh, number. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the developer is Willy Kunz, who is uh, in Switzerland, I think around Zurich, the German part. Uh, mm -hmm. I would be surprised if he does not program for a living because he's excellent. Uh, he mentioned to me in correspondence that John Rausch, an ex-PPC member in Ohio, was instrumental in getting this uh, project uh, upstarted. He had actually sent Willy a uh, working 65 in good condition. Willie Kunz had sold his machine early on in 76 to buy an HP 67, mm -hmm. and so did not have a 65, and John Rausch uh, uh, supplied him with one, and also scanned all the card pictures included in the RPN 65 emulator. Uh, uh, Willie mentioned that the 65 was one of the toughest calculators to uh, simulate because it behaved sometimes uh, in unexpected way. And <laughs> it comes uh, to me as no surprise being the first programmable calculator. I think HP also went through a learning curve. Yeah. The 67 was a bit smoother and easier to, to program and work with. Yeah. Uh, Kunz also developed uh, iPad emulators for the 45, 70, 67, and 97. He has a free version, non-programmable for the 67, but a paid version that's uh, programmable with the magnetic cards and all that. And he also developed for the iPod and iPhone emulators for the 45, again the 70, and the 35. And he has a website and he offers a, you know, good online support for the various emulators. And uh, one of the things I love about this, he brings back the love of the uh, classic HP calculators. When you hold that iPad, and the emulator for the 65 or 67 is the biggest day. You know, you go like, wow, we missed that, so. Hello, hello, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Hello, hello. That was a Gary Glitter song uh, with more fanfare in the music. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, this is, of course, the picture of the emulators, and you will notice right away here there's lowercase a, a to e labels, so that's something in addition. And in addition, he put a, a shifted go sub, the function under the go to. And here you see print x and space, uh, which works with this virtual printer. Uh, the rest of the keyboard is pretty much the same. So we have this virtual printer that you can use it to trace, and you have various mode, trace, manual, whatever. And you can trace the execution of the program, as I've done here. And then you can email the, the printout to you, or you can actually send it to a regular printer. On the right-hand side, uh, we see the instructions, short instructions for the currently loaded program. And then he has also a, a, a short example. So uh, it, it's good to have the original a copy of the original manuals with you for a little bit more details. But uh, he gives you uh, the minimum to work with. And if you click on the view button here, it switches to this view, 
and you have here the stack with the last X register, last uh, X register mm -hmm. here, uh, 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 register zero through nine here. You have the flags, uh, status of the flags here, the current program pointer, and the next step. This is the, when you invoke the card, hold on a second, uh, you click, if you click on this uh, button, this is what you get. And it's your uh, magnetic card library to the, the right hand column, you have the uh, pack name and then listings of the programs, here's another pack name, uh, stack pack one. Here uh, you have the complete listing of the program, you can scroll through it, and this area you have the instructions brief instructions how to uh, uh, run the program with a brief example. And then here you have um, uh, the scan for the card. Uh, this is the settings uh, view, and the top is the enhancements. So you can run it in legacy mode, slow, limited, or you can jazz it up to several levels. Um, you can also toggle single stepping through subroutines if you want. Um, you can also toggle through showing the thousand separators. And then um, uh, you can do the, uh, sh uh, show the key fonts. What it means by that is when you hit the blue shift key, the, the blue shift key uh, uh, appears on, on the face of the button and you have a much clearer vision of what the key does. And once you uh, oh. execute any of the blue shift keys, the, the keyboard goes back to its original the default uh, version. Uh, you can use uh, large digits here, and you can ask it to warn you when you save and load uh, virtual magnetic cards. Uh, you can ha uh, control the volume of the, the key clicks, uh, depending on how much you want to annoy the people next to you on the airplane. <laughs> you can choose the printer fonts, and. You can choose a, a background. Uh, he has done this for the 67 and 97. It's just aesthetic, not, not a big deal. And here are two views. This is in run mode, this is in program mode. You have the step number, the key code, and then here is the mnemonic. So this really oh. makes this, finally I can see what the key does, you know. Uh, so, uh, this is wonderful. Here's I'm comparing the uh, RPN 65 with the RPN 67. Uh, this is also oh. very capable. Um, uh, it includes many HP uh, application pack already installed. I remember I was at the beach when it was released and I bought it using my grandson's iPad. For some reason it didn't download, but I said it's okay. I bought it, so when I came home I, I downloaded the application and boom, the standard pack, the math pack, uh, 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 math pack one, math pack two, all down because it saved me like hours of individually downloading the, 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 the magnetic cards and individually installing them. So that's a big, big plus. And I wrote them and I told them, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as of course, uh, like I said before, supports the legacy calculator but also supports and enhanced modes, and this is a partial list. You have one step short of a, a thousand steps programming, that's plenty. And you have uh, 111 additional registers, including double digit registers. So you have the single digit, digit registers, double. I think you do like uh, a recall or store plus or whatever, and then two digits. Uh, so it knows that you want double digits. And then you have uh, the registers <coughs> lowercase a to lowercase e. And then you have 105 additional labels including lowercase a to lowercase e and double digit uh, numerical labels. It runs programs much faster than the 65. I mean, you hit, rip, you hit <coughs> run stop or whatever, you get the answer, it's that fast. Uh, it uses a virtual program and data cards. Uh, like I showed you before, it has a, a virtual printer and you can email your, your output printout or you can uh, send it to a real printer. You can follow subroutines, like I showed you on the uh, uh, nesting on the, on the paper tape. And like I showed you before, you can watch the stack, the memory registers. Um, you can also enter programming step by typing uh, the commands into the program listing 
or you can copy paste so you can develop your programs um, separately and then just uh, copy them and then paste them uh, directly on the display. Yeah. He has not put the list of the exact commands to do so, so uh, hopefully he will. <clears throat> Some of the things uh, not found in the original 65, <laughs> continuous memory, so you don't have to reinstall. And then he has, a, he supports uh, the backstep command by uh, 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 ex uh, <coughs> clicking on the blue key and SSD. That will toggle, lock the single stepping direction and then take you one step forward or backward. So if I'm by default stepping forward and I do G, SSD, SSD three times, I go three steps back. And if I want to resume going back forward, I have to do G, SST, and I go forward and one step. Next. Uh, supported nested uh, go subs, which is the one of the shifted key go to. I tested the uh, uh, eight ne nested uh, up to eight levels and took, was able to go back to the original uh, subroutine, uh, caller subroutine. Uh, of course, it has high precision calculation that exceeds the display capacity, so there's more stuff than he's showing you. And uh, as I showed you, uh, you can watch the uh, uh, pro uh, the programming step mnemonics in the display. Uh, and then um, he supports uh, register arithmetic uh, with the recall and actually the store and recall uh, commands. Mm -hmm. um, you can read data cards from the R uh, RPN 65, uh, 67, and 97. And uh, he has visual uh, status indicator for the prefix keys. Um, so based conceptually, the RPN65 is an HP67 minus. <laughs> what it's missing is indirect addressing, and I wrote to him about that just to kind of poke with him a little bit. He said, no, that'll be too much. It'll become more like a 67, so I'm not going to implement that. Um, there's no post command, but he pointed out that, oops, sorry, post command that he implemented that this command, the printx command, will pause. I think it has a few bugs because I tried it in other than display two, and it began to show me multiple decimals and additional digits, and it was, went a little bit crazy. Um, uh, at one time, I had to actually re uh, delete the, the app and, and reinstall, so he needs to uh, uh, check that uh, bug. Uh, regarding st uh, uh, Oh, there's no testing uh, to compare the register X with zero. He said he might do something about that. Uh, but with more steps uh, available, it's really not a, not, not a, a, a deal breaker. Regarding statistical registers, there is no support. So there's no sigma plus, there's no mean or standard deviation function, uh, and there's, there are no registers dedicated for the stati statistical summation. So you're on your own to designate where you want to store your uh, stat register. The uh, emulator is at this uh, website is support. Now it comes with sorry with the standard pack EE1, Math1, Math2, Stat1, and Aviation1. Uh, I think the last one you have to download uh, on your own. And then he plans to release Chemical Engineering Pack1, EE Pack2, Finance Pack1, Mechanical Design Pack 1, Navigation Pack 1, and Stat Pack 2. Yes. Is that an active link? Yeah, yeah. How much was it? I'm the only the one to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> 399 this, I mean, you know. And you're asking for more functions. Sure. <laughs> 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 $3.99. Yes. Anybody's interested? Uh, yeah. It is, yeah. It, it is, yeah. It, in the 97. You actually go to the 97. I'll do that right now for you. And, uh, you go to the 97. Now I'm going to paper advance the 97. If you play with the 97, uh, a little bit. Push the button. No way. <laughs> now, now, are you ready? Are you ready? Everybody, quiet. Uh, yes. <laughs> I just ripped it off. <laughs> and you can do that with the uh, <laughs> also. Uh, now I do in, all uh, my 67 programming. In landscape mode, yeah. yeah. I do all my 67 programming, and then I email the listing to me so that you guys can understand it. Right? 
Awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, boy. <clears throat> and that's...